are installed 1400 meters and away in racing the field of seven got away well queen of jazz was quickly into stride blueberry blue on the outside of runners with ginger palaces right up there behind them is double trade who takes a seat about four or five lengths off the leader such a life is racing behind those then came one wish and maxi girl is the trailer but only five lengths cover them as they race down towards the thousand meter marker out in front, Blueberry Blue picks it up now by a length and a half. One Wish has gone up into second. Down along the inside, Queen of Jazz racing away in third, then double trade in fourth position. Ginger Palace and Such a Life are racing behind that. They four to five lengths off the leader, and that'll leave Maxi Girl as the trailer now as they run down down the side of the course now and approach the last 600 metres. Out in front is Blueberry Blue. One Wish has gone up into second. Ginger Palace, Queen of Jazz, is now under pressure back and forth. Has to pick up from there. Behind that came Such a Life. Further back to Maxi Girl, uh, who's at the back end of the field now as they come down inside the final 300 metres. Blueberry Blue is the leader. Such a Life down the inside. Queen of Jazz is still two lengths away. And behind those is One Wish towards the outside. But in front now is Such a Life. Picked it up strongly from Blueberry Blue. Queen of Jazz is away in third but it's going to go to such a life goes away to win it such a life wins it comfortably from blueberry blue queen of jazz a never dangerous third maxi girl is run back in fourth and then came double trade maxi girl is run into fourth and then came double trade and one wish further back to ginger palace so two-year-old filly by global view she's out of the gimme the green light may stop thinking of me well done to the sharon cots and stable they were in good form here on friday and they followed that up with a good win in the first race. Such a life continues to roll in race number one. And gets the beating of Blueberry Blue with a favourite, a disappointing third. She was under pressure from quite a long way from home. Well, Sharon Cotson Racing was on fire on Friday and can't keep a good thing down. They are straight back into the winner's box here with such a good life getting us underway the first of the afternoon here in Nelson Mandela Bay. A big thanks to AK for joining me once again. And the groom that's going to be celebrating the 1,500 Rand extra from World Sports Betting is Anil. So a big well done to you, Anil. Your horse has done you proud this afternoon. AK, thank you very much. Chase is standing by. Grab your mic there, Chase, if you don't mind, as you come in. And, uh, you yeah, we're just having a, a joke off air. You won last meeting, one of the earlier races, complained about not finding the winner's box enough and try. <laughs> and here you are. You haven't stopped since, so well done. Yeah, long may continue. But, um, <laughs> you know, obviously, thanks to the trainers to support, without yes. the support, it's not possible. So I've been keep on coming and, and going through the yep. hard times. And... Eventually, it's working its way out. It certainly is. Now, this filly, she really caught Neil and I on the way down to the post. How did she feel going down? She actually did move down very, very yeah. well. And she was very calm. For a young horse, very sensible. Yeah. And obviously worried that she might get left because she got left to her first two starts. But she jumped on terms. And then I was in the race quite comfortably the whole way through. And when I asked her, she, she gave a beautiful kick. Yeah, I must admit, if you're looking through her form and you see the finishing time she's been posting, once you knew you jumped on terms and were that much closer, you must have really felt optimistic. 100%. And also, I could ride with a little bit of confidence yeah. straight, knowing that she was going to quicken, and she did. So that all accolades to the yacht, to Sharon Cotton and the whole team. Thank you very much. And well delivered. Congratulations Thank to you. you. And to my sponsors. Well done. Brilliant. Well done, Chase. Thank you. Sharon's standing by, and I'm glad she's got a race card with her because she would be forgiven for not being able to actually give all the names of these winners, of these winning owners, should I say. And Sharon, I know you've got a big smile on your face. It's lovely to see these youngsters do well. Both of the fillies in this race, Maxi Girl placing, you've brought them along, needing their runs, learning with their racing, and just coming along with each run. Yes, you know, um, in our opinion, you know, it's very nice to pick up the, the bonus checks. Mm. But uh, in saying that, um, you also want an older horse. Yes. Um, and that is my main aim, is to bring them along as they um, mature, as they mature yeah. and, and start showing and coming along and getting physically stronger. And I'd rather have uh, three and four-year-olds. Look, that makes a lot of sense. And before you, you can uh, get you, uh, more acquainted there with all your owners' <laughs> names, well, Mr. Pesarini steps in to, uh, oh, and, sorry, and Greg, come on in. I've done this backwards. Hang on a second. Wait, Mr. Pesarini, or wait for Greg. <laughs> um, I forgot that Greg is actually, I haven't read through all the owners, to be honest. So we'll wait for Greg for that. But would you like to thank everybody then? Yes. Um, you know, I'd like to say a big congrats to Trevor Dodgen. It's the first time I've got his colours mm. on a horse and got them across the line. Oh, fantastic. So, well done to Trevor, Rajan, 
um, Ellen, Vernod, Davinia Jatu, and of course to the Ben Boerter yes. family who also bred this filly. Fantastic. Um, so they are the part owner and breeders of her, which is also a special, uh, special yes. feat in its own. It is. And um, yes, I'd just like to say a big thanks to Chase as well. Um, you know, he rode a very confident race, which was uh, very nice yes. as well because uh, he got her out the pens where she's been losing it in her last two starts. And um, he didn't stop until he crossed the line. Fantastic. And Sharon, before I let you run, um, horses with chances going forward in race three, you've got Elusive Martyr. And then I think you round up with two very nice runners in race seven, being Captain Casanova and Transact. Yes, I think all my runners are competitive today. Second race, just can't get enough. Yes. I do give a big shout to. Okay, well, thank you for um, pointing that out. Yeah, the only, the only unknown is um, Alan's horse, you know, the number two. Um, that's got good yes. Joburg form, uh, so Marquez. that yeah. is the unknown. But mine is fit and well. Um, in race three, Lucy Matter just has to reproduce her last run, and um, I think that she can be mm. in the money. And then between Captain Casanova and Transact, there's not much between the two of them. <laughs> no. Transact ran a cracker last time, and Captain Casanova, course and distance suited. So, you know, I think Cases I am competitive, so hopefully... <laughs> The money is where my mouth is. <laughs> well, very good start to the day and well done. Thanks very much. And I'd like to say a big thanks to my sponsor, World Sports Betting. Of course, Betting. of course. And with that, Greg gets to come in. <laughs> I must admit, I can, I'm going to say at least I had the excuse of the owners actually running to the second line. I missed your name. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. That's no. Thanks very much. Uh, yeah, no, Sharon's mentioned everybody just, you know, I know it would have been here, but yes. their second grandchild is due. So they're at the hospital oh, right now. Exciting. She's due. Any minute, so yeah, I think that's a them, so I'm hope them. Omen. Yeah, very good omen. So yeah, he because he bred it and would have been yeah. So he says congrats to everybody and well oh, done. So oh. such yeah. a life, yeah. Such a life. I think that's. I think that is so, <laughs> so fitting. Yeah. I think so that's fitting, wonderful. Yeah. But thanks yeah. to all the owners at SKR for the support. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Fantastic. And now, one of these these checks are coveted. After this one, there's only four left. So enjoy that. That Bloodstock South Africa Maiden Juvenile winner bonus, 100,000 rand. So owners are extra happy and congratulations again. Yeah, thanks BSA and thanks all the owners for the support. Fantastic. There you go. The Sharon Cotson Racing Yard. Well, the, as mentioned, had a fantastic day on Friday and straight back in the winner's box, the stable to keep an eye on. You know, when they turn and they really start finding form, I think Sharon could go on to enjoy a great day as she has touched on a lot of decent runners to look forward to. And we are going to follow them with interest. To the multiple owners involved in such a life, she has really run a cracking race, finishing well in the Chase Mojan. And a special shout out to uh, the Boerter family who are looking forward to a new arrival. Congratulations.